Hey guys, Jafar here. In this video, we'll cover the three ores along with the types, spawns, harvesting, teas, and trading. In total, there are three types of rocks, including stone, metal, and sulfur ore. Here you can see some of the main items you can craft using their gathered resources. The stone ore should be your first rock to harvest as it's fundamental to the starting phase, with the metal ore next, after you've crafted a furnace with the stone. Finally, the sulfur ore will be the last ore to mine as it's only used for ammo and explosives. The metal ore, unlike the others, will yield two separate resources including metal ore and high quality metal ore. You can only collect the high quality metal with the final hit of the node, with a single rock yielding two high quality metal ores. You'll need to use a stone pick or better to acquire the high quality metal. This metal will be used within higher tier crafts and buildings. When running around looking for resources, you can find ore collectibles on the ground for stone, metal and sulfur. These can be picked up by pressing E and yield 50 of its corresponding resource. However, during special events such as Christmas and Halloween, they will yield 50% more per pickup and contain different world models. Over time, they can be a great help when starting a wipe, to quickly get you enough metal or stone to build a tool or item. Each ore type can spawn in every biome, and commonly spawn around hilly and mountainous areas. Open your map and you can identify the hilly areas likely to spawn the nodes. Or you can use a Rust map site to filter for ore spawn locations on your server. I'll leave a link to this resource in the description. You can typically find a large number of nodes within the snow biome. It may seem like their spawns are higher, however it could just be because the nodes are easier to see within the snow and fewer people are likely to live here. So if you're struggling to find ore nodes within your area, hop into a vehicle and head over to the snow for a quick mine. Along with biomes, you can find ores within cave and tunnel systems. If you would like to learn more about the caves, I would suggest watching my caves guide. The ores found within these caves will yield the same amount compared to naturally spawning ores. Caves can also spawn pickaxes within their surrounding minecarts and mine crates, making it a great location to come at the start to get a pickaxe and a lot of ores. Along with the randomly spawning caves, the monument tunnel systems and caves can also spawn ores, which can help give you a consistent location to gather resources. These places include the airfield and military tunnels. There are seven harvesting tools you can use to collect the ores. These include the rock, bone club, salvage hammer, stone pickaxe, metal pickaxe, salvage ice pick, and jackhammer. The lower tier tools will lose some of the ore's available resources, with the rock only collecting 37.5% for the stone ore's potential resources. Here is how many ores can be mined before that specific tool is completely damaged. However, unlike the other tools, the jackhammer can be easily refilled by going up to the workbench and clicking the refill button. Each node also features a glowing light which signifies the critical hit spot. This is the same as the tree critical hit and will help speed up your mining process by 125% if all critical hits are landed. These won't be visible during the night and you'll need an external light source to see them. A large portion of the resources mined will be gathered with the final hit of the rock before it's destroyed. This is to encourage players to finish mining the ore before running off. So to not waste your time, continue to mine the ore to completion. When farming metal and sulfur ores using the salvage pick, it's recommended to miss the first critical hit. You can now destroy the node in just 5 hits instead of 6. If you were to mine with a jackhammer, you can burst fire by spamming left click, reducing the durability lost, and will result in a quicker mine. This will also allow you to ignore the critical hit spot on the node, as bursting will cause you to always hit it. If you're looking to go on a farming run, consider drinking some ore tea, as it will increase your ore yield by a considerable amount. There are three types including the basic, advanced, and pure ore teas. I have a dedicated video on teas and mixing tables if you'd like to learn more. So after collecting 10 stone rocks, typically giving you 10k stone, you can expect to return with 12k stone with a basic tea, 13,500 stone with the advanced tea, and 15,000 stone with the pure tea. Each tea's effects will last a total of 30 minutes. At the outpost, you can exchange 150 stone for 500 wood. 
So for mining three stone rocks, giving you 3k stone, you can expect 10k wood in this conversion. If you have an abundance of stone and want to avoid grinding trees, this conversion makes your life a lot easier. The three ores are the core components of rust as they lead you to building stronger bases and most crafts within the game. When starting, focus on collecting the stone ore to build up tools, a stone base and furnace. Along the way, collect metal ore so you can cook it up within the furnace to build a sheet metal door. Once you have these essentials, collect any type of rock that fits your playstyle or goals. Just remember to not hold an excessive amount of stone, metal or sulfur ore on you at once and take it home before getting killed. If you have enjoyed, a like or sub would be appreciated. Thanks guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.